Hey friends, today I'm gonna go sketch at the Met. Come with me. The Metropolitan Museum of Art is on the Upper East Side, which is one of my favorite neighborhoods in New York City. It is absolutely ginormous. As you can see, it spans from here to all the way over here and is four blocks in length and a block deep. Before sitting down to sketch, I wanted to see some of my favorite paintings and check out what is new on display at the museum first. This wall of Canaletto's paintings is one of my favorites. I come back to it every single time I'm at the museum. Panini's Ancient and Modern Rome are another highlight of this gallery. I love to call these paintingception. I mean, look at the details on these. It's just insane. I didn't really have a good idea of what I wanted to sketch when I came to the museum, but once I saw Diana's golden statue, I thought that she would be perfect for some gesture practice. So I took a picture on my phone to make sure I captured the exact right angle that I wanted to, and I started to draw. I've never sketched the statue before or anyone in 3D. So I just went back to my basics and started with a simple figure to get the gesture correct first. Then I started filling in the shadows to make it look more lifelike. As I was sketching, I did have a couple people come up to me to chat as well as a lot of others try to inconspicuously look over my shoulder, which I thought was quite funny. <laughs> Not too bad. I'm pretty happy with how this one turned out. I think that the anatomy and the gesture I captured pretty well, although I would have liked to have a little more time to spend finishing the detail work. Next is one of my favorites, which is the Egyptian section. I decided to pick the Temple of Dendur to draw as I wanted to practice my box work and really work on my perspective. So the really cool thing is, is that the actual color of all these temples, like it's white with these brightly painted um, colors, where it's As you can see here, I only filled in the vague impression of hieroglyphics on the front side of the temple simply because I did not have the patience or the time to extend them all around the side. But they definitely do continue it around the side. Check out the temple in person to see. The next section I went to is Greek sculpture, and I wanted to do something a little bit more unique and abstract from my previous drawings. This Hercules sculpture was perfect. one continuous line maybe uh, but like a more like a scribbling type abstract sketch um, I've never done it before so I'm gonna try to push myself a little bit outside my comfort zone but let's run it let's see how it turns out <laughs> As I was drawing, I was thinking about how large and unique the Met really is. 
I've been to museums in London, Paris, Greece, but I think the Met just has something for everyone. There's art, there's armor, there's sculpture, there's pottery. It's just really refreshing to be able to look at a very, very, very wide variety of things, of cultures, and just kind of really, really dive deep into a certain part of history. This sketch took me about 15, maybe 20 minutes, and I'm pretty happy with how it turned out, especially because it's so far outside my comfort zone. Yeah, I think it's pretty cool. And that was the day at the Met. See you guys next time. Bye.